Back for another consummate opinion. You know what? For the first time in a long time, the Gav's here. I feel like I need some uh, intro music. You need your own intro music? Some superhero music. Well, so like what? Some nothing gay like Thor or Captain America? Nothing like that? No, not like that. Nothing like that. We'll we'll work on that. I'll get back to you. But it feels good to be back in the building, man. Hey, so speaking of which, what's up with that freestyle? Let me know. Me let you know you're the yeah, one doing the I mean, freestyle. I I'll, I I can do it right now because I'm in the zone right now. I have my uh, freestyle. I have my uh, my tools and I have prepared, if you will. Uh, um, so uh, some cavassier tonight. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was on sale. I told you about that, man. It was, yeah. either, it was either get the half or the fifth. So I got the fifth. I'm not gonna lie though. I am missing my brand. My brand. I'm missing my brand, but you know we work with what we got. I do what you got to do, I guess. Shit, right? always. But yeah, you let me know. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, uh, I'll put a little more water in this right now, just in case you give me the go ahead on that. And well, we, I think, I think what we should do is, we, I really want to put it. I really want to put it on a, um, on an iPad, so you can go ahead and pick that up. And it, so, so I won't be, it won't be static into the mic. You can just put it into the board. You see what I'm saying? So, you, so you mean like, it's like pre-recorded? No, definitely not iPad? Yeah. Out? Yeah. Into the board? Yeah, I mean, I guess that could work. Yeah. It, it, would, sound, it would sound a lot more professional. That's, that's what the... Because I'm going to kill it either way, bro. You don't, even, you don't even understand. Well, how about we save it for the next time? Because I know Mendel really wants to hear I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stall for Black Friday. Hopefully I can snag one then. Bring the iPad in here. Because I really am going to kill it. I'm not even concerned with... I just wanted. To, I just. I just want the music to be behind me. I don't want to fight the music. I, I think. I don't want to fight the music. I think this will be the first year in a while that I'm not going to go out for Black Friday. What? I, I just, yeah, this is. Nah, bro. You usually have your shit lined up, circled, dated. We gonna be here at ten o'clock. My bad. Excuse me. Ten o'clock. You gonna be here at one o'clock? Yeah, well, I think. I mean, I might. I got to look at the ads. Yeah, see, I knew it was too early for you. I'm not going to do that shit. Please, man. Hey, this is coming from the guy, me, who pre-bought PlayStation 4. Bought it in July. Got a boy. Canceled it two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. The fuck is wrong with you, man? I thought they charged me in July, so I'm looking at my credit card. saying, oh, sweet, already paid for it. Yeah, not so much. So I'd get another solid four or 500 bucks hit me in the next uh, about month. So I figured that wasn't a good idea. So you didn't get it? No, I canceled it. Big Show got one though. Why you? Why you won't let the? What the? Well, right, no. And here's another thing. No, I, I justified my my canceling it with there's a lot of bugs. So I might I understand that. So in about a year, oh, you if get, I get it in after a year, bugs will be gone. All that stuff will be good. All right, all right. Yeah, it's, it's a you know, it's an attempt at a justification. I feel you. I feel you. This it's logical. So we should do what's new with you. All right, um, shoot. Well, what's new with me from the last time we did a show is pretty much nothing. I woke up, uh, went to work a couple times, and then uh, I'm back. But Damn. Yeah, no. I mean, what's new since you've been back here a lot? Shh. As I said last time, um, as Mendel would say, there's a new lady friend in my life, and, and it's the intern. I work with that. All right. I work with that. Um, That's pretty nice, actually. Got, yeah. Got, got WrestleMania tickets. Go ahead. No, I says it sounds like I actually kind of named that one. The I intern. think you, you did, didn't you? Didn't you name her? I'll, I'll take credit for it. All right, yeah, you did it. All you right, know, so it um, got WrestleMania tickets for New Orleans. Pretty excited about that. That a boy. Not so excited the fact that the uh, hotels are about two hundred dollars a night. You know what? I might just go to gamble. I'm not really big on wrestling right now. I'm all about throwing some bones, though. It's pretty weak, but guess guess who's supposedly supposed to be back? Hulk Hogan for the forty fifth time. Well, yeah. Really? Supposedly, He's yeah. so old. He is old. No, they, they didn't say if he's going to wrestle or not. but He better not go out there and break something, break a hip. <laughs> he, he already has artificial <laughs> hips and knees and stuff. Ooh. He can't even leg drop nobody no, no more. No, probably not. Let's see what else What's new with you. Oh, something I didn't say the other night. I am certified as a substitute teacher in Pasco that County. That a boy. Yeah. That a boy. I haven't done don't a go shift s- yet. Don't but. go smack nobody's kid, man. No, 
I kids can, out here okay. be acting reckless, though. Now, I can only do high school. I, first of all, I can't handle little okay, kids. Okay, well, don't go do any other inappropriate things with high school students then. No, I should be okay. I'm just saying. Yo. All right, so this is probably the first. It's not. It has nothing at all to do with me, but this is a story I heard. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, no, I want to. No, see, now I want to hear it even oh, more. Oh, this is, this is rough. All right, so real quick, end of the day, end of the day, high school football, potential star athlete, okay? Um, <laughs> playoffs, didn't play, got picked up on a felony. Oh, okay, uh, you think, you think felony you don't you don't think this type felony but I think maybe a drug charge yeah or, or a like gun that. charge yeah, or something yeah. like that <sighs> looting lascivious act might as well have been sex with a 12 year old bro what sex with a 12 year old in this well, <laughs> <laughs> where does that begin to enter your mind like i mean i don't know man i can't even so was he 18 i can't it doesn't I matter. No, it doesn't, it matter, doesn't right? matter at that point. Oh my god! I guess I'm trying to justify something that's not. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, bro, look. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You got these little hoes running. I'm gonna call them little hoes because at the end of the day, that's what they. I'm not gonna say all because I got a mom and a sister, but at the end of the day, ninety eight point eight percent of them are hoes, bro. Now, middle school kids these days are worse oh, wow. than like adults. They're wild. They be. A, Doing the most, you yeah. know what I mean. So, and I mean, it's really not that. It potentially, it's what about a six-year age ga- age gap? Yeah, eighteen to twelve. I don't. I don't even know how old the kid was. You know what I'm saying? But end of the day, it's about a five to six-year age gap. You know what I'm saying? Is it really that bad? I mean, she might have been a bad twelve-year-old. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah, bitch might have been. So. That bitch might have been drinking a lot of milk and got a lot of hormones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got a lot of curves for a goddamn twelve-year-old. And you done seen them. You done seen them. Yeah, but you seen them. Yeah, but. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing shit with them, but I'm just saying, if you're 17, you be like, God damn, that's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But yo, oh, you know man, what I'm it's, been a, it's been a while you since you've been here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that's what, I'm, what it is. But anyway. Oh, man. So let's see. I, I think I got one other thing. Oh, well, no. Well, what's new with you? Obviously, you've seen the new uh, studio furniture. I like this, though. I'm posted up over here in the corner. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's actually set up a lot better. Yeah, I like that. Like a lot better than the two chairs. And then when it, yeah. got, when it got even worse, when it was just oh, like. Oh, man. I forgot. I didn't even see all that right back there. But I just kind of like. Oh, man. So much. I see flat screens in your future. I see I see Stat Boy back there looking up stats in our future. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get Stat Boy get back Stat here Boy sometime. Back. Gotta get you Stat know, Boy. You back. know what I'm thinking about putting back here too is uh, I, I was at Home Depot and they had those uh, like the fake fireplace deals that are actually like heaters or whatever. All right, all right. I was thinking about putting that right in the corner over there, just like sitting over there. I really want. No offense, but that's a little HST though. That's a little HST. Uh, yeah. I mean, for you and the and and your lady friend in turn, that's nice, but. Showtime, you have to wheel that shit up out of here, bro. I mean, trying, ain't nobody trying to get cozy in this motherfucker, all right? Yeah, I guess I can see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I it's just like, it's, it's in, inappropriate the workplace. All right, so what's new with you? Uh, new house, new puppy, blue nose, blue nose pit, wild as fuck, out of control. How old again? Ten weeks. Going in, personality like a motherfucker, dog. I right, man, look. Yeah, so right now that's like a uh, what about a one year old child? Yeah, yeah. Mommy pick me up. Mommy run around. Mommy this. Mommy that. It's like God damn, man. It's like look, man. Look, I'm tell you like this. I'm tell you like this. I talk to him like he's a grown ass man. I don't hit him yet like he's a grown ass man. I hit him like he's a a toddler. He probably shouldn't hit toddlers. Yeah, he probably I, shouldn't I hit toddlers. But I didn't say that. but anyway, yeah, you know, he gets he gets corrected if you will. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. But this man. I bought the little, uh, you know, the the wooden barricade you set up for toddlers. You know what I'm saying? Block off the room, whatever. Don't. Yeah, I got one right outside. Yeah, uh, except yeah. It's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, there you go. So I'm thinking I'm, you know, I'm being good pop. You know, what I'm saying, looking out for the, looking out for them. So my people come over to the crib. Pop hits me. I was like, yo, I, you let me know. He's like, <laughs> he's like, yo, you got a big ass rat running around your house. You know that, right? I'm like, <laughs> um. Well, I don't know about a rat per se, but it, you know it is what it is. I'm like, how, I'm like, how the fuck you? Well, how the fuck you meet him? So oh, he met me at the front door. I said, like, what the fuck you mean? He met you at the front door? Really? I said, okay, all right. So I took, I went home, 
Do a little motherfucker over the thing. He's crying and shit. Pick me up. I'm like, nah, you have to show me how you do this shit, motherfucker. He looked at me. said, all right. Climbed right up over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, damn, that's sixty dollars out. You know what I mean? I'm like, I thought yeah. I done did something, man. I was like, whatever. Yeah, he's already over that. Out of there. I'm like, this is some bullshit. But uh, yeah, I got a new spot, new dog. You know, life's pretty good. Making moves at the gym. I like that. Uh, been busy. That's why I haven't been over here in a little bit for my uh, third part-time job. Have to <laughs> have to uh, have to come back soon though, because we definitely got to do that freestyle. Plus, it's coming to the point to where we're at. Uh, November 22nd, and we... Why is that significant? We're still O for the death pool. That's a good thing, man. All right, next subject, bro. As a a competitive spirit... Competitive spirit. No pun intended on the spirit portion of that. (laughs) um, Yeah, you need to work on that verbiage a little bit. Hey, just think, five weeks from now, it's time for a new draft. Okay, I'm sorry. Five and a half weeks, it's time for a new draft. What are you talking about draft? New Doom Pool draft. Oh, for the year. Yeah, might as well. I mean, might as well start early, right? Oh, that's fucked up. Y'all done got all my like secret picks and shit now. Oh, oh no, no, nah, no, nah, that's nah, nah. Fuck that. Nah, I would listen. I want. So, do we get a keeper? I think we should get a keeper. If we're gonna do a draft again, I got my sleeper picks in for the low last time. I need a keeper. How about this? Y'all not gonna snake me on men? Uh, what's that? What's that dude's name? Mendel. No, not Mendel. Oh, Nelson Mandela. Yeah, you're not going to snake me on that one, bro. I did I did a lot of research. Okay. I don't, now, again, I don't want nobody to die, bro. I'm just trying to win and take y'all money. Isn't it money? What are we betting on this? Uh, we were betting. It a, don't really matter. I still no, just want to we win. we were betting alcohol. We were betting. Uh, Fuck it right. I want two my, people had to buy yeah, another person some yeah. type of alcohol. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay, how about this? How about, no, this? How about y'all just let me keep, keep a, a, a pick, a keeper. Like some uh, fantasy football draft shit. When I was thinking, there's three of us in this. Correct. Then that means we should have three keepers in whatever round they are. Correct. Like kind of like a normal mm-hmm. fantasy football draft. I agree, one hundred percent. And then uh, go from there. I think okay, yeah, we we gotta we gotta get Mendel yeah. on this, and we we okay. gotta get a draft date. Yeah, going. We, gotta, we gotta get some documentation worked out. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, like that. no one in those draft picks uh, is doomed prior to our draft. Now, time out, time out. Here's a question, hypothetically speaking, right? So, during the draft, if somebody happens to die, do we keep those points until the draft is finished, or it don't count? Well, no. If we're in the process of drafting and something so I happens still got at that them, point, I still got them people. Yeah, you, you'd get first death, which so, is like fifty points. So now, here's another part of that. Speaking that of statement. which, I don't know if I saved all that information. Now, here's here's a here's a here's another a, a question. All right, so let's say it's not my keeper, right? Okay. But you pick Betty White okay. if you get the first pick, right? And I had her in this previous draft, correct? You still with me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now the draft isn't over. But Betty White dies during the new draft and you picked her, but the draft ain't over. Do I still have her? If it's after New Year's Eve, if it's if it's a, oh. if it's in two thousand fourteen, but it's one of your keepers. Okay, if it's a keeper, I still got her. You still got the points. But even if the draft ain't over, bruh? No, just and here's the reason why because uh, our draft was our, our draft. Uh, don't pick, butt ceiling me now. No, Come no, on, man. No. Don't right, butt ceiling A-Rod. me now. Come yeah, on. We'll talk about that yeah, later. This motherfucker. Our uh, no, the draft. The draft that we did last until New Year's Eve. It, New Year's Day. It's over with, except for your keepers. They continue right. on. So if it's someone you picked, they died one minute in the next year. Guess what? No points. That's why the sooner we do the draft, the yeah, better. yeah, we gotta get on. That Let's ASAP. say we do the draft December thirtieth. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. Then that will count for the entire. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then we're oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All so right, we're, yeah. we're we good work, now. Yeah, we're working out the verbiage, man. I'm trying to win, bro. I'm trying to win too. Two, but again, two we don't. Two handles of Hennessy. You know what I could do? No, 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 no. That was never said. What? Remember, you just it said was two people go in on what that other person oh, wants. That doesn't oh, mean two. Oh, oh. well, that's what I'm talking about thought. being greedy. Look, bro, you get in where you fit in, man. Okay, I'm a, I'm a plan for food stamps, bro. Don't try me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so you want to get to the current events? I I got I got some pretty, well, some of it's funny, some of it maybe not so much. Here's the first one, and of course this is all going to be posted up on the Facebook page, which apparently goes to the Twitter page. I found that out today. Not a boy. 
so here's the first one from the smoking gun. You're gonna love this. Man arrested for naked masturbation. Yeah, we'll try that one more time. Naked masturbation session inside Walmart women's bathroom. So this guy, what? yeah, this guy goes into the bathroom at a Walmart in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's your first problem. He goes in the bathroom, and he's pleasuring himself in front of the mirror. Okay, so this is this okay. naked. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check me out. Check me out. I'm gonna give you two minutes to explain this, and then I'm gonna go off because there is so much I want to say about this bullshit right now that okay. is so wrong. Okay. All right. So 120 seconds, man. I won't need that much. All right. So the lady who found him was a 61 year old woman. 61. <laughs> yeah, and. <laughs> And when when she told she told the smoking gun that she was in panic mode and began filming with her cell phone, it was a twenty two second clip, and this is the narration she put on there. This is amazing. My name is Beth Davis, and I witnessed it. You were naked and had your pants down around your ankles. Someone stop him. Do not let him go out that door. So he then took off from the store. And he ended up getting found in like a matter of two hours. So this guy goes in the bathroom and, of course, as she said, pleasuring himself. And she caught it on video, which ended up getting him arrested. And so he's in jail on felony charges. Now continue. <sighs> did, did, it, did, it, <laughs> did it tell you the ethnicity of this motherfucker? White guy. Oklahoma, come on. <laughs> Well, it's either Oklahoma or Native American, or, or white or Native American in Oklahoma. So. All right. First, first of all, first of all, first of all. No offense. First of all, who didn't see this motherfucking grown ass man walk into the wrong bathroom? Well, okay. Now, at, at local WalMarts, the bathroom, let's say it's up at the front or in the back, wherever it is. Okay. Both doors right next to each other. There's not always somebody All right, going okay, to the bathroom, okay, right? and I and I and I would counter that statement by as much motherfucking money as Walmart makes. Don't you think they could hire a motherfucker to sit in front of the bathroom and tell your punk ass not to go into the women's bathroom? I would assume a lot of people try to go in there and take stuff to steal, so I would assume they'd already have something. They should. Like all right, that. what's up, loss prevention? But anyway, okay. First, first bullet point. Second bullet point. We're just, you know we're gonna. I'm going to make this real funny right now. We're going to call this motherfucker Ernest. Is that, that's a pretty white name, right? Ernest? Does that work? Ernest works. Ernest? All right. Ernest was the gayest motherfucker in Walmart that day. <laughs> I know he went into the women's bathroom and everything. This man was beating his meat in the mirror looking at himself. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. Take your gay ass to the men's bathroom and do that shit. See if you don't get the shit beat out you in, in Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, he'd be done. All right. Okay, first of all, he's a coward, and he was the gayest motherfucker in Walmart on whatever day this happened to go down. Okay, now, let's get to the woman that videotaped this shit, but was, like, the 60, horrified. The 61-year-old. 61 years old. Ask that bitch the last time she's seen a dick. Well, the thing is, she was... No, no, there is no thing. The no. last time that bitch seen a dick was, like, 1936, all right? Well, no, and I know my so math is off right she now. She filmed it. Oh, yeah, we not, I haven't gotten to that part yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten to that part yet. Hold on. She whipped out the cameras like, damn, I might not see one again. I'm, I got one foot in the grave already. It's, it's the last dick she'll ever see. You know see. what I'm saying? Last dick she'll ever see. She's going to have to get up there and testify about this man's dick. It's like, some, it's like some Michael Jackson reincarnated bullshit. That's what this is right now. Yeah, it's very strange. Okay, but anyway, white dude strike one, Oklahoma strike two, in the women's bathroom, strike three by your goddamn self, strike four, bro. And we ain't playing baseball out here. You know what I'm saying? I was saying? gonna say that's like a uh, that's like a wild pitch. Now, and, uh, let me let me tell you how let me tell you how that story really needs to go down. Okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it needs to go down. If I'm in Oklahoma and I'm a white guy and I'm gonna do some outlandish shit in the women's bathroom, I'm going to be trying to have sex with my white or Native American girlfriend, woman, wife, baby mama. Whatever. In the bathroom. That's how that story shit. Not that I'm in there. Why didn't you do that shit in the men's bathroom, bro? That's my only question. Anyway, next subject, man. Let's yeah, I, I don't know. I, Joke right, so gay ass. Next topic. This is something Ernest. else. 
something else I saw on the uh, 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 or yeah, saw on the smoking gun, but I heard about it on the radio. Here's a title: Man claims Google aerial photo shows his murdered son 14 along railroad tracks. Okay, you know how Google Earth they take random pictures of like streets, like literally you can type in an address and you can see 10 feet in front of that. Yeah, address. It's, it's it's satellite. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this picture. And this is a Google area f- aerial photo of wherever this address is. And it is Google Earth. It's not something that's on there because you can see, I mean, really, really faintly. And, of course, this will be up on the website. There's a uh, a Google stamp on the picture. So you know it's not something that was just taken from, like, a, 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 news, a news station or something like that. I'm just going to show you this photo real quick. And I want your opinion on what you're seeing. And then I'll read the little story. Brutal, huh? Oh, shit. I really see a body by some tracks. Some cops up there investigating the situation, potentially. Yeah. All right. I used to be, like, in the middle of nowhere, though. Maybe at the back end of an industrial park. I don't know. Yeah, kind of with that fence over there. Yeah. That's what it kind of yeah. looks like. Yeah, so, so the story... Yeah, it's a little... A little strange. I'm trying to figure out if he's face up or face down. Face down, pretty sure. I mean, if you go, if if you zoom in, it doesn't really show it that well. It's all fuzzy. So, um, wait, wait, so you said the dad is doing what? That's pretty pissed. He's uh, getting a petition signed by people to uh, get that taken off Google Maps. He wants them to take a new picture of the section. He is. This was from August 15, 2009. Now, I don't know if you've ever looked at the Google Maps stuff, but they don't. Some stuff's like 2009, some's 10, some's 11, some's 12. They just do it in certain times and it just time lapse type thing puts it all together. Supposedly, this happened exactly the day that his son was found on the street. Supposedly, exactly the. I mean, it's not funny. I'm not trying to like laugh, but he's he's petitioning Google to get this taken off. They'll do it. I think they will. I mean, it can't be just, hard to get just for that pe- particular one image redone. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm putting it like this, Chris. I'm just... <laughs> eh, close enough. Yeah. Yeah, who's on it now? <laughs> Shit. Not so, anyway. much, not so much whiskey plus tonight. No, huh? definitely not. Definitely not. Shout out. But anyway, I'm putting it like this. In business... Money, at the end of the day, is the bottom line. If you're losing money on the PR scale because you got a dead body on your site or whatever the fuck it is, it's got to go. Yeah, definitely. I don't give a fuck who you got to call in as far as your your IT person, what fucking dot head you got to get over here to get that shit corrected. They, they get their ass over here and get that shit fixed. Definitely. ASAP. And, this, and you know why? You pre- like like the NFL s- says protect that shield. Google has a name to protect. Okay. Oh, a billion dollar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If 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 my stockholders get upset, if we start if if this father starts raising enough shit and gets enough news behind them, that's a hit. That's PR. So they're gonna do that. They'll they'll, they'll blow they'll blow ten million on this to make this go away. Shit, they'll launch a new fucking rocket. If they have to, to get a new satellite Yo, up there. because it'll save them money. Exactly. In the long run. Yeah, it'll be done. Now, you're going to love this next website. This is the last current event I got for the day. It's called Trophy Scarves. Now, okay, you've... You I've, know, heard of, I've heard of a trophy wife. Trophy wife, okay. Something similar is that. Now... I've heard of a trophy. Well, this is really intense. Trophy scarf. Yeah, now what it is... It now, time is, out, time out. Can I ask you a few questions real quick? Yeah, I, know, yeah, I know I'm delaying the process. Oh, no, anyway. no, 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 no. You're, you're, being inquisitive is good. So are we, doing, are we doing something physical for this scarf? It's are, a physical act, but you're we, not doing something physical, but something physical has to have happened. And are we fighting for the scarf? I mean, a couple people could fight over the scarf, yes. Could fight over... Is the scarf worth anything? It's technically not worth money, so, so, but it could be worth something to some people, yes. So so what you're telling me is it's an ordinary bootleg-ass dollar store scarf 
and people just put a lot of emphasis into it to get it. No. No? No. So 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 what are we playing? Capture the flag? What's going on? Kind of what what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you a picture of what it is, a trophy scarf. Trophy scarf. This website is wearing white women on your shoulders. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this website. Just scroll up and down. Well, don't no, well, don't scroll up and down. Just scroll up so you can see everything. But the first image. You talking about a real scarf, or is it like some made up shit? No, it's like made up. The white, the white woman is the scarf. So what's the scarf? What does scarf stand for? No, like a scarf on your shoulder. <laughs> It is literally <laughs> white women being worn <laughs> as a scarf. Oh, I like the first one better. I don't mind. Yeah, so, some are dressed, some are what? Some show nudity, some don't. So, well, of course, uh, when we put this on there, uh, hopefully Facebook the doesn't. Fuck is this? Hopefully Facebook doesn't kick us off for <laughs> this, this one. This is wild. <laughs> this man got a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. So trophy scarves. Now, I'm wondering if there's yeah, other... Yeah, you're going to have to edit that. They ain't going to let that shit... They ain't gonna let well, no, that that's the thing. Right, right, right. It goes online, and it, all it is is a link. So that's why I'm hoping it'll be okay. All it is is a link. Yeah, I need my scars to have bigger breasts than that. That shit's crazy. So that's an interesting concept, huh? You got to be a strong motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Bitch, my back hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, imagine how many takes and stuff that took to do that entire yeah, thing. Yeah, damn, man. <laughs> I bet mean, he got one hand in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's stupid. How did you find this? I don't even remember. Damn, she got classic white girl, no ass, though. That's funny. Oh, That's man. not always the case. Okay, there's exceptions to every rule. Yeah, there you, you know go. What I'm saying? Like, like, hey, 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 I'm black and I can swim. <laughs> go oh. figure, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But do you do Australian kisses? Fucking hell no, bro. Uh, we, ain't, uh, we ain't got time for that, man. <laughs> Where they do that at? Oh, man. Yeah, so I, I figured you'd like this trophy scarf. Trophy I found scars. that and I go, man, I go... The gaff would really appreciate this. I need, I need, I need. Oh yeah, my bad on that. On that, you guys got to go edit that the other, the other thing. The little mishap earlier. You need to take care of that. Nah, nothing I can do about that. What you don't, you don't blur it out anymore. What names? Or just edit it in general. Nah, it's not fun oh, anymore. It's, it's raw and uncut. Yeah, pretty much. Fuck it. Um. All right. So. We're going to go into some of the topics for the night. I mean, they call it scarves. That's naked <laughs> white bitches. Man. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, so the the first, well, let's start with the whole A-Rod deal. All right, go ahead, man. Say your piece, man. I'm going to get in this. No homo. Yeah, good call on that. Yeah, you know, there wasn't a lot of no homo on the last show. Gabe yeah, yeah, we go, yeah, we going to revisit that, too. Yeah, I need to work on that shit. So, <laughs> so we... <laughs> I don't have much to say on A-Rod, honestly. All hey, I have... the intern? Can the intern get me some more water? Uh, yeah, I believe she's going to be out here in a minute. She said once her show's done, she's watching Supernatural. Man, you better... I wish I had a switch, but I turned that motherfucker. I click. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off the power. Wait, I need some goddamn water. All right, go ahead, man. Let's do you this. You need actual water? No. Yeah. Or some Pepsi. 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 Some Pepsi. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to save what I think is the best for last. But so A-Rod, he, I think he's just a bitch and he knows his career is over. I mean, I really don't have too much to say about him. You walk out of a court hearing for what reason? Really no reason. Not even a court hearing, bro. Arbitrator. You ain't going to jail. That's true. That's true. The fuck you going? I don't know. I, you you, you, you going to slam some crayons down? You going to... You gonna shit in the corner? Like you gonna cry in a diaper? Like what's? I don't understand what's going on right now. Grown ass man. He knows his career's done. Grown ass man. I was worried about his legacy being ruined. I mean, I think you did it to yourself. Personally, my opinion. Now, what legacy, man? 
Well, speaking of a legacy, Jose Canseco, he took steroids, owned up to it, and he just got arrested for, well, he got pulled over for a ticket or something like that, and he had two goats in his car. One of them was wearing a diaper. Yeah. I <laughs> I don't even know where I saw that. All right, it, was so, like a, it was like so a Tosh.0 oh type show. I'm definitely going to speak from the, uh, the perspective of a black male. I'm not Haitian. I'm not Jamaican. I was born in the motherfucking United States. Somebody better explain something to me. Why the fuck you have goats yeah, I, <laughs> in your car? There was no explanation. And one has a diaper on. <laughs> what the fuck is really going on right now? That one better be a sacrificial lamb, motherfucker. You better be. You better be cutting something. <laughs> hey, so you, well, your what? dog, male or female? Male. Okay. I was going to say, because female, a lot, there's female dolls that run around that aren't fixed. Yeah. That wear, like, diaper type. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe that's what the goat's deal was. So you breeding goats? Who does I, that? I don't know who breeds Where goats. Where do they do that at? Uh, um, excuse me. Before um, before we continue. Before we continue, uh, if you would be so kind. I need some ice and some Pepsi. Por favor. Hey, You're the best. Him, tell him to go fuck himself. Or or you could just no 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 Sam. Tell him to go fuck himself. Whoa, can you can you not? Nice today. Yeah, see. Oh, he's being see? nice. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know how to play by the rules, man. See, thank you. Hey, we can take that down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Are you with some water too? Yeah, yeah, some water. Some water. Some water. You gotta stay hydrated. Hey, you gotta see the whole fireball challenge thing I did. It's terrible. Fireball challenge. Fireball affects me the next day. Like, I don't want to do anything the next day. Speaking of Fireball, have you heard or have you seen anything about the new Jose Cuervo Singe? Nope. It's a uh, tequila with a cinnamon twist. Everyone's trying to cash in off Fireball. Blech. Yeah. That's 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 my opinion. Tequila. Blech. We kind of got off A Rod, but there's really not much to say. Okay, this is this is this is this is my take on A Rod. Okay, first of all, I didn't even know he came out of the U. I'm kind of upset that he came from Miami. Uh, I believe I first heard of A Rod when he was with the Rangers. Got a big ass fat payday with them motherfuckers. Then went to the Mariners. Got a fatter payday. No, opposite Mariners oh. and Rangers. Well, see, that's how much I really give a shit about A Rod. Yeah. Okay, so obviously, I guess it'd be backwards. And then he went to the uh, Stankies, if you will, cashed in. What was it three hundred and twenty million? Yeah, uh, whatever them, it was was thirty million a year. I took them motherfuckers to the bank. I am not mad at that. Can I help you? Who the fuck is texting me right now? But and anyway, guaranteed contract in baseball. Yeah, guaranteed, guaranteed. 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 Now and then he fell apart because he was on that needle. And the thing is, uh, in, in certain baseball circles that I affiliate myself with right now, that I cannot reveal my source or anything like that. But end of the day, the black guy on Miami baseball is everybody's on the needle down there. Everybody that comes out of Miami falls apart within about, eh, probably about three, three to five years in the pros. You mean the college or just baseball in general? No, no, and out of out of the U. Okay. On that needle. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. All right, let's move on to uh, Jameis Winston. <sighs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> now, here's the thing: as a Florida State fan, even though. You, a graduate of the school. Yeah, I, I'm an alumni. Go ahead. Hates the school. Can't stand it. But as as a fan, always been a fan since since a, being a kid a fan. The since uh, let's see, it's been 14 years since they won a national championship. This is the only year that they've truly had a chance. I think they could beat Alabama personally. That's my opinion. But their quarterback is in the middle of a sexual assault slash rape deal. Really? And what's bad is there was DNA evidence that came out that has his semen associated with her. He didn't say semen. It's DNA. Well, see, another we, show I saw said semen. I mean, oh, they said semen? ESPN said semen. I, I saw ESPN say uh, DNA. They didn't say semen. Well, that. a guy yesterday, he goes, oh, well, some of the stuff we're going to be talking about could be graphic. And it went to, he said semen. 
All right, man. Go ahead, man. So we can, so we can, because there's so much I want to say about this. Now, I was also listening to it, and just because that was there, doesn't make him guilty. That what does it make him? Maybe she had those on the day before. Maybe she's uh, just okay, maybe I see where you're going with maybe this. she's just a solid nasty and just getting. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little insight from a uh, not in a negative way. I do not like Florida State. End of the day, I do not like Florida State. Um, I am an alumni. They really took care of Miami this year, though, didn't they? Oh, you got jokes now, but that's cool. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. We 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 really appreciate the intern here. Some of us more than others. Very well, oh, yeah, I'll leave you to interpret that. But anyway, so I'm not a big fan of Florida State. Okay, fact, no opinion here. Um, let's 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 get some let's get some facts out there. I'm sorry for those of you that are uh, sports buffs, but this is how I get down. They have two Heisman's there, potentially three in the making. Okay, most of the people on campus don't know who the fuck those Heisman's were. I mean, for whatever reason, they might not have been born, yada, yada, yada. It is what it is, okay? I feel as though once you go to a school, especially if you're going to go out there and rep a logo that has so much animosity and hostility attached to it as far as the Seminole war paint, you need to know something about the shit that's happening on the field, okay? I don't even know if I know who the two Heismans were. Oh, you do know. Come on now. Who's the first one? Charlie Ward. And the second one is? Burt Reynolds. Nope. Chris Wanky. Yeah. Didn't Burt Reynolds play, yeah, win he a Heisman? No, nah, he played out there. He was supposed to be nice, but he didn't win a Heisman, though. See, I thought he did. I know nah. Dion didn't. He, I mean, nah. he was one well, of the did. better players there yeah, ever. They, but. they shitted on Dion, but that's a whole – That's a whole. you need to put that for the next cop topic. <laughs> but anyway, so to, at the end of the day, you I, – especially this year because I have um, – I've worked with athletes that are out there on the field right now playing as, like, true freshmen, which is incredible to me. But anyway, the point of the story is – I have been there, and what they don't show you behind the scenes is that there are actual the the Seminole tribe is given a like a a twenty foot circle in the stadium that they can sit there and protest their their culture or whatever being exploited by people going up in the stands and putting on all this war paint, blah, 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 blah. blah. Well, the Seminole Indians were cool with it. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, see, they not were at just all. saying in the no, last. But no, this, this is, this is, this is what I'm trying to tell you. What they're, they allow them in the stadium. Like they're not making who the Seminole tribe is not making any money off of FSU football. Okay. So I'm not saying that's right or wrong. Cause no native American is really getting paid off anything in this country anyway, even though they were here first. The point of the story is I'm not happy and satisfied with the culture if you're going to sit there and be game day hyped up about some shit you don't even know about, okay? That being said, I was – I ran in circles, you know what I'm saying, when I was up there in Tallahassee. I saw how it got down. So my my view on this lady's story coming out right now is a bunch of bullshit because they said, they said the actual uh, alleged assault happened a year ago. Okay. In, yeah, December last year. A year ago. Okay. First of all, strike one on the police department. If it's an assault, if you're not, if you're the police department, you're not going to do anything about it. Don't come to me a year later. The second problem I have with that is if you are, if you're a female and you've been sexually assaulted, yes, she filed the police report supposedly two hours after the event happened. Okay. But if you're not going to follow up with that, why are you going to wait till a year or whatever for it to come back out? Now, what what they're saying in the report is ESPN's reporters got whiff of this and they brought it out which I believe to a point because when you have Heisman and you have all this other kind of money and all this other bullshit people are looking to try to bring you down true okay so this is this is this is what I think really went down that night she might have been a hoe she was getting Amtrak okay oh and he's God. probably and he's probably the most identifiable motherfucker in the room and I'm using motherfucker in 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 a positive sense in a positive sense but in, in, it's a different term that I could use you know what I'm saying so, I don't, I don't, I don't think he'd be guilty. But I don't. I mean, put it to you like this. Put it to you like this. They were talking about, oh, she didn't do it because um, she's not trying to hurt his status or whatever. He is a red shirt freshman. He wasn't on the field last year when he fucked you, bitch. 
And now all of a sudden when he's number two in the nation and going for a Heisman, it's a big deal now. Now, granted, now if you didn't put it out there, that's cool. I understand that, okay? But now your lawyers are making statements like, I stand by my word. I stand by what I say. You ain't nothing but a hoe, in my opinion. Until you prove me wrong, I've been on that campus, okay? And I'm going to put I'm gonna put everybody on to some shit right now. There's always a 4-3-2-1 plan, and I've told you this back in the day when you came up to, to Tallahassee and you see me. The four is four clean wheels, Three is three letters for your fraternity. Two represents the two numbers on your jersey, and one is going to be a very high power, a very powerful position. Okay, that's how you become the man at a college campus, particularly the one I was at for my undergrad stint. Okay, the four three two one plan will come back and bite you in the middle of your ass if you aren't careful. All right, and I that's, see that. That's that's just that's I've seen it. I've been there. I didn't live it. Obviously, I didn't play. I wouldn't be here right now. No offense to anybody in the room or anything. But if I played, you know what I'm saying, this would not be happening right now. But that's just how. That's just what I I, I anticipate coming out. Because you, did you see how they how the police said be careful pursuing this? Yeah. Because this is a college football town. Yeah. You're gonna get drunk through the mud. They're gonna protect that brand before they protect you. Okay. Well, you see, her attorney's here in Tampa, so that that's, means she's probably around here. Well. Your attorney is just trying to get paid and get some uh, national media attention because she's going to lose this case. Oh, yeah. She's going to lose this case because every detail about that night is going to get released publicly. And if her parents are like, oh, I raised a good girl, if she was getting the train ran on her, it's coming out. Okay? I don't, I'm don't. i sorry. Be, that'd be terrible. Uh, hey, but come on, man. Come on, man. You don't... It, I'm not saying you've been there, but you know how it goes. You know how it goes down. Everybody don't see he got game. You seen he got game, right? Oh, Ray Allen, yeah. Oh yeah, everybody. Not that was light. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I Yeah. But that's that's just me, man. Next subject. All right, so I mean we'll stick with football. Let's talk about the whole bullying thing. I just want to see where you're standing at with the whole bullying thing. Now oh, you talking in about specific, bullying in specific to the NFL? Ju- yeah, well, okay. Oh, With, here we go. Let, we don't need, no. Let's not even go to the NFL. Let's not go to anything specific. Oh, you just saying bullying in general? No, because we've talked about that before on here. Okay. Let's talk about bullying in the sense of just adults in general who are now coming out and said they're being bullied. We don't have to go with anything specific. Yes, NFL. Jonathan Martin, uh, right. incognito. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Shane Andrews. I believe he was an offensive lineman for the Eagles. Said McNabb used to bully him, and used to and used to call he was or say he was gay, or whatever the situation was. McNabb said it's ridiculous. She Andrews was married and had kids, but he said he was still bullied by McNabb. Keyshawn Johnson comes out and Chidi Ahanatu for the Bucks says Warren Sapp used to bully them. Keyshawn Johnson really one of the biggest shit talkers ever. Come on, okay, look, really? Man, look, 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 look. No, just I, I ain't grown men. That, okay. Like bullying grown men. I got men. you. I got you. You can't bully a grown man. You can bully a bitch. You can't bully a grown man. Okay. Now, at the end of the day, <laughs> my humble opinion on this whole bullying thing, if I'm a grown man, we, we, we talking specifically NFL locker room right now, okay? We've been playing football for how long? Since we were about four years old, right? We play high school, we play college, and now we play in pro, right? We had to go through the draft, we had to go through the combine, blood, sweat, and tears, right? I'm just as big as you are, motherfucker, and I'm a pro. Let's make it happen. Hey, because at the end of the day, there's other big motherfuckers out here that are probably going to hop in and break this up, but... I'm gonna try to knock your block off, man. You're not gonna. You are not going to bully. How the fuck do you get bullied if you 300? If you 300 pounds, six foot six tall, that doesn't make any sense. No. At all. No. I mean, no. No. Look. No. Look. Let's just be real. Let's be real. Football. <laughs> to win football games, you need thugs and speed. End of the day, you need thugs and you need speed. Period. Thugs is a mentality. Okay, if you look at the NFL right now, every team is a gang. They have their own colors. They have their own mascot. They rep their own hood. They have their own state. They have their own city. I can see that to a certain extent. It's a gang. Okay, yeah. now, now, now here, I'm going to ask you a question. Did you play football? <laughs> no. All right. It is a very, very violent, I want to knock a motherfucker's head off sport. Okay, 
survival of the fittest. I've been I've been I've been the victim of friendly fire on my own side, bro. That's not a that's not a good feeling. You feel very alone in that situation. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, when you travel city to city, you have to be able to know this motherfucker next to you is ready to ready to die for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because any play, any play, it could be over. I remember you telling me times of when you guys went to uh well, being the school that we went to and where it was in Correct. comparison to when it was probably it might have been sophomore year. I don't think I don't think it was uh junior or senior, but when we used to play some of the teams up in Pasco. Yeah. And I think the one that really stands out was the Ridgewood game. Was Ridgewood, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll never forget that. So we're gonna revisit that real quick right now? Fuck it. I'm on it. So first of all, we did go to we did go to Paul Harbor back in the day. Uh varsity squad class two thousand one. Only two <laughs> two members of the football team were black. Yours truly and JB. I'm not gonna put them out like that. JB, you know JB. Uh, hold on. Oh man, hold on, hold on. There were two JBs who were on the team, weren't there? No, not 2001. What? Maybe a seniors no, but what? I'm talking about. I'm talking about James Brown. Yeah, no, no, no JB. No. Yeah, I'm talking about Jamara Blue. No, he didn't make it that year, bro. Oh, okay. No, not not two thousand. He was on the team. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Two thousand. You know what I'm saying? We had we had to oh. make some we had to make some roster Went from Three to two. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, two of us, two brothers, only brothers on the team, right? We get up there, we pull up to the uh, to the school or whatever, and I'm chilling. I'm like, all right, no big deal. I'm like, I already knew. I knew we were going north, so I knew they were going to be country, and I knew they were going to be white. All right, so I already knew what time it was. So we pull up to the pull up to the school. I'm like, oh, that's what's up. You know, I'm thinking they got some like rowdy ass friend, fans or whatever right by the fence, like right at the fence, not even in the gate, bro. Big ass, like I'll never forget it. All white, uh, no top Jeep, just the roll bars on it. You know what I'm saying? On like some like 38s or wherever the fuck it was going. Kind of like Trevor's car in uh, in Grand Theft Auto. Kind of. I, like I guess whatever that is. So <laughs> I'm sitting over here and I see this flag. I'm like. I'm like, who has a flag? Like, who tailgates with a flag? I've seen it maybe at college, you yeah, know what I'm saying, whatever. Bros, so I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm still on the bus. I'm, I'm like, all right, coach, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And then I see the flag open. There's three wolves heads and some lightning bolts and some shit. And I'm like, all right, I really don't know what that is, but I'm kind of concerned now. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what is really going on right now? And do you remember, uh, you remember Perry, Coach Perry? Yeah. He was like, oh, he was a history major, right? So he he was like, oh, you don't know what that is? I'm like, no, that's what I'm kind of concerned right now. He's like, oh, yeah, that's just a symbol for the Ku Klux Klan. I'm like, excuse me? What? You What? I was like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, man, you got nothing to worry about. I was like, you don't, you don't have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I said, time out, bro. Time out, man. Like, I really got nervous there. There's no parents. It's, it's like me, 48 white guys, <laughs> and JB. I'm like, man, this is some bullshit. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. You know, you just got to. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna stay on the bus. I can't stay on the bus. I gotta go. I got. I gotta go. I'm like, all right, man. Whatever. So, so this is when June. You know, rest in peace, Coach June. This is when June comes up to me. He's like, yo, man, we're we're all a family out here, brother. We're going together. I'm like, man, look, bro. I don't know. I don't know you. I practice with these motherfuckers. All right. I don't know how shit's really gonna go down out here tonight. I got supposedly the clan out here watching the game. Whatever, whatever. Right. We get police escorted in to the locker room. Police get escorted to the field. I was a huge trash talker. I didn't talk any shit that night at all, okay? We win Danny Shea, rest in peace, late field goal, win that shit, run off the field because we are like, man, they're about to storm the field on us because, like, what's going on? Everybody's like, oh, my God, what happened? It was such a great – I'm like, such a great game, bitch. What you mean? The motherfuckers outside with fucking flags. There's, like, 30 <laughs> of them. What do you – I'm like, y'all didn't see that shit? He's like, no, they weren't here when we got here. I was like, okay, well – I'll tell y'all about that later on. That no, that was rough, man. Do, it was, do you remember our I, I think it was our senior year. I, it might not have been. It might have been no, it had to have been senior year. When we were playing basketball against golf, and they had trucks follow our bus out towards nineteen. I think it was I do remember that. I wanna say, where's the Denny's in in or there used to be a Denny's or maybe there still is. Huh? Yeah. I do remember that game because golf, yeah. golf had the stage, right? No, yeah, golf had like the auto. Like they only had bleachers on one side of the gym, right? 
something strange yeah about it was it. very yeah, strange it was weird. in the locker rooms or in the middle of the parking lot and all that type stuff yeah well there used to be a denny's on 19 and i remember cars would would used to follow the bus and they ended up stopping at the denny's i specifically remember that denny's <laughs> for some reason they used to stop there oh man i remember we went you remember that tournament we won in brooksville Oh, Lacanto. Yeah, we started talking shit to all the all the fans or whatever because they were losing, and <laughs> we started screaming. <laughs> I, I told. Uh, oh, it was terrible. I, I think we actually had this conversation yesterday. I was telling the intern about how I. Oh, it was a few days ago, while we were in Orlando. I was telling her about uh, how I used to just talk so much shit playing basketball all the time. Always get in trouble. Teed up for no reason. <laughs> He, he go to the games. Like, I'm, I'm getting teed up tonight. He's like, oh, okay, all right. Looking forward to it. So you see him go up and down the court a few times. It'd be nice. He'd be like, all right, when's it going to happen? He'd get pushed. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Graphic elbow. Fuck off me. Teed up. Like, he pointed to me like, I told you. He's like, all right, man. He's like, guess what's about to happen? You coming out the game, bitch. <laughs> getting in trouble. Coach uh, Coach Walters isn't there anymore. No, nah, I, saw, I saw he uh, – did they, I don't know if they fired him, but yeah, he had to go. Yeah, it's about that time. Yeah, psh, it's been about that time. What you mean? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play you a video. This is for the uh, this is the last little topic of the deal, the knockout game. <laughs> yeah, show me this. I I heard about this. How old are these people doing this shit? Uh, teenagers, I believe. Like thirteen teenagers. Uh, I. Because this um, is different. Thirteen. There, okay, there was a fifteen year old charged with assault. Damn. A male or female? A uh, male. And he hit a male or a female? And then the three arrested who police said were captured on video were just 13 and 14. So there was so 13, 14, 15, so around that age. Yeah, I'm going to play this video. You're probably going to have to come over here. Be All right, yeah, check this out. You might as well sit. Oh, you don't want to fuck that. Ground out of nowhere by a stranger. Could you be the next target for this sick game? Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. It is called the Knockout Game. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has no information on how the NYPD is taking action. All right, they're going to show it again in just a second. Jumping on a brutal bandwagon knockout. Videos from New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania getting hit after hit on social media, showing hit after hit on innocent victims. Here is a 50... Now, that's just random people. Like, literally random people. It's, n it's not random people. No, it is random no, people. No, it's not random people. Not one of those motherfuckers that got hit was black. No... But the people hitting them were. Oh yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell no, you. No, it's what, not no. random. Well, no, what what they were what they were saying in, in, later on in this little uh, this little news clip, they say that they're targeting Jewish people. Supposedly, supposedly, they're targeting Jewish people. But those two people they showed there literally got knocked, knocked out. out. But they didn't see it coming though, bro. That's why. Well, yeah, that's the point of the game yeah. is to knock out someone who you Yo, aren't. This is the thing. This is the thing. Though. If you don't, well, that, that's why I'm sitting there like, oh, these people aren't picked out. Yeah, they are. Because the point is, if you don't knock them out, you have numbers right there because they're going to fight you. Well, no, that didn't know that's what happened. There's another one that happened. It was it, it hit somebody tried to do it to like a kid or like a, a younger guy. Guy didn't get knocked out. Guy shot the dude who did it. Killed him? No, I actually I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, yeah, somebody died. She said, uh, "In her said." No, no, no. That that, that uh, was someone who got knocked out. No, 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 no. Somebody who. Uh, what you're doing is trying to knock somebody out. You make it this guy and he dies because he was having a friend. Yeah, but no, I'm saying that somebody tried to knock someone out. The guy who got who got knocked down didn't die. Got up and shot the dude who tried to knock him out. Like that was a whole separate incident. It's a completely separate incident from the stuff that's on there. Hey, don't lose that web page. We need to put that up on the, the thing. That's crazy. It's supposedly like a legitimate game, like the whole like you know, back in the day of the game, taking out mailboxes, doing stuff like that, like old school. Are they upgraded a little bit? I mean, to a, to a really crazy. Look, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Those kids aren't stupid. They're doing this in the Northeast where they can get away with it because in Philadelphia, and New York. Yeah, in the, in the Northeast, I'm gonna be honest with you. The Northeast, it is a different animal up there. And, like, the color barrier, like, people fear black people up there in the Northeast, man. I'm trying to tell you. But um, 
I don't think that would really go down down in uh in Florida so much like that. I just don't see that happening here. Yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think that would work out. Well, we are we are uh, licensed to carry state, so which you know, remember all the talk about you better get your gun license, better do this, better do that. What, uh-huh. what happened to that? Because nothing ever came out of it. I mean, I, you can't get certain things now. It's harder to get certain machinery it now. T- yeah, it takes longer. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, I don't know. I uh, <laughs> somebody was telling me today they bought their girl a piece for uh, Christmas. I said, dude, I can't do that, man. Women just make me nervous as fuck when they have a firearm in their hand. I'm sorry. I I I I can't get over that. I don't know why, but I literally get the fear of God put in my in my heart when I see a female with a gun. My cortisone. Yeah. It's fucked up right now. <laughs> but um I mean do what you do, man. Get it how you live. I'm not I'm not saying you don't need one because I have a feeling that's gonna be a uh a special on like Tosh point or something like something about the knockout game. He's gonna do something ridiculous because he always does something that's ridiculous. Some stupid shit. Hey, so what, McSweeney minute? I don't really have anything, man. I did something two days ago, so I, I I'm fresh out of uh, fresh out of firepower. Do you have anything? I mean, I, I, have, a, I have a I have a nice McSweeney minute. It oh just, well, it oh, just hit me. Okay, well, oh, oh, now uh, let's uh, give you ten seconds. Uh, can I let me let me get fifteen because I have to prep a little bit for this. Okay. I don't have one. Uh, it related to tr- uh, my last McSweeney minute related to. Trying to lower my child support only to get told that it is going to get risen. You should have expected that, bro. No, I shouldn't have expected it. No, and you want to know the reason why? Because if you don't work and ha- and if you don't work, the other person suffers more. Me and Captain Blue Shirt were talking about that today. Um, KB's. Uh, Significant other? Well, yeah. Baby daddy. <coughs> happens, Captain bro. Blue Shirt. All right, man. Let me go. Let me go. Let me let me know when it's the... You uh, got ten, eight seconds. You're at the next minute. All right, just let me know. Just say go. All right, two seconds. You can go. All right, so I guess what McSweeney would be about uh, women and how they talk when they shouldn't talk, um, which is <sighs> almost all the time. Whiskey buzz. Because... Uh, Especially when you're telling yourself, it's kind of funny, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but I, and no, definitely nobody, nobody specific. But uh, I do have a couple instances where um, nobody specific. Definitely nobody specific. I'm just, I'm just speaking from experience. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, everybody needs, everybody needs a good source of vitamins in their life, and when they find a good source. I guess they have to, the, they feel the need or urge to tell other people about it, and especially if it's in the, if it's in the workplace, that's a problem. It's a problem. You can't shit where you sleep. Understood. So McSweeney minute is like, I guess it would be on me. You can't shit where you sleep. Keep, oh, it's on you. It's kind. Of, I guess. Man, so you're calling it out on yourself. I guess because I'm saying people aren't built to handle certain things. Why? All the time. It's not everybody. When they shit where they sleep, it turns out bad. Well, yeah, but not everybody's packing heat like yours truly. Oh my God! See, I don't think that's where we're going. With I do, that I do. About because I'm not even talking about the situation you, you're referring to right now. I'm talking about the other employer. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's my McSweeney minute. You can't put it on them like that, man. They ain't can't. They ain't. They ain't had it like that in their life before. And then they gonna tell somebody. Then it's gonna get back to you. Then they wanna ask you questions about shit like why I can't be me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes sweet. Yeah, after the show, <laughs> well, we got some stuff to talk about. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, all right. So next time you're on here, we're doing this freestyle, right? Gotcha. Well, no, we're not doing the freestyle. You're no, doing you're, the freestyle? No, no, you're definitely not doing it. You don't have swag like me. Well, I just I don't have freestyle skills at all. I'll take care of that. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm telling you, I'm put on the iPad. I'm, I'm gonna make them love me. It's oh, over. I don't know about that. And maybe we'll have whiskey puss on here for you next time. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Everybody's welcome. <laughs>